Hey everybody, it's Jeff Coates from Sato Chicken again with another video and this one is about how I draw heads. Um, I asked on Instagram a little while ago if anyone would be into that, in, be into seeing sort of like what I do. Um, and two people said, yeah, sure. And that's all the encouragement I need. So there's this. Okay, so as you may know, um, I work in Photoshop exclusively. That's where I do all my drawing. So I'm going to open up a new Photoshop file here. And the first thing I'm going to do is show you just some basic head shapes. And they are really simple for me. But these are the ones that I kind of use most of the time. And then I'm just going to draw these in a kind of a blue line on a new layer. So I'm going to show you these. So these are my layers. So I use a lot of layers in Photoshop. So anyway, so I'll just draw some head shapes. And this is not what <laughs> this is not what anybody does. Well, maybe some people don't do this, but usually what happens when you're drawing something and you're trying to draw like a like an outline on it first, you'll do this. You'll do your your circle. And you get your center line. And then you, you, know, you figure out your two head lengths or something. And then you sort of connect those and then do this. And that and then your eyes are going to be like across this line here and then your ears are sort of there and whatever I don't, I don't really ever I don't do that so let's just, let's just get rid of that I just draw shapes that I'm kind of comfortable with and that work for me and then what I do is I modify them once I'm in there so again there's that guy um, do this quite a bit some of these this is, yeah, that one, sure. So you can see they're just really basic shapes, right? Um, there, there's a little guy, maybe a fat guy. Oh, wait, let's, let's undo that. Let's get rid of that. Let's make him a bit smaller. I didn't want room for one more guy. I don't like that one. Wow. There. There we go. So those are just uh, those are basic shapes. That's a good start. Okay, so now that I've got those, <clears throat> I'm going to go in. I'm going to use those shapes as sort of guidelines for um, for some heads. And again, really simple. So in my layers, what I'll do is I'll make a new layer. Make a new layer. On top of those, on top of that one, I'm going to close this up so you can see it better. There you go. It'll knock the opacity back on that, so it's a bit fainter. And then I'll just go in and I'll start uh, with a black outline this time, just drawing some heads on top of these heads. And usually, what I do is I'll start with the eyes. Uh, and I have struggled over the years with like drawing eyes that are just too big and drawing features that are just too big so I'm going to show you that really quickly like here's what here's what I don't like doing anymore and this used to be you know when I was younger or when I wasn't drawing quite as much This is kind of what my, I don't know what that line is. This is kind of what I used to draw. So you can see I'm already out of room on that outline. I'm, I'm jamming in really big features everywhere. And then this guy, while he's kind of interesting, it's, for me, it's a little too cartoony. So what I've learned to do over time is kind of like, mix up the size of features so that not everything is giant and I can actually use the space here because if I'm drawing like a comic panel or something that head has to fit within there in, if I have a layout you know so what I'm gonna do is just draw some smaller features so smaller eyes maybe and if I drew if I drew smaller eyes 
Maybe that gives me license to draw a bigger nose. And I've also like tried to keep my eyebrow size down a little bit. They, they used to be giant. Here. Fond of the sideburns. There. So now this guy fits. And then little smaller mouths. I used to do this all the time. But now I'm more fond of say something like that. With a little those chins. I draw a lot of those chins these days. I don't know if you noticed if you see my stuff. So um So that's that guy. So you see he fits within the, the shape that I had originally drawn, which works. And now we'll do another one. And this guy, ah, uh, zombie. Sure, why not? So this guy, zombies, eyes going in different directions. Zombies also, the way I draw them, never have noses. And I'm keeping the features, these features up here because usually what I do with a zombie is I take up a lot of room for the mouth. And not drawing a nose actually helps with that. And this is just a standard one. Spotty bits of hair. Tiny little bum chin. Again, always. There you go. Okay, we'll go on to the next one. This one, um, round, kind of a fatso. Um, and then I like to play around with like sort of where the where the features are. It changes the shape of the head, right? So I could do little tiny eyes up here. Maybe near there. Sometimes with uh, some drawings, it's good to keep all the features sort of in the middle of the face. It looks kind of funny. Uh, or I could put the features over here. Slightly larger nose. And usually what I do is kind of make it up as I go along, right? Like, I don't know what I'm drawing when I start. At least not now. This isn't really planned out, so I'm just kind of doing stuff. And you can also kind of stray off the basic shape. So there's that round shape, but I don't have to do that. I can just do this, right? As long as I've got that as a guideline, that's kind of my basic uh, approach. But I can do this, you know, give them a few extra folds. We got that, and eh, that's pretty not bad, not bad. Except, see where like this line here and this line here don't really line up. I don't like the way that looks. So what I would do is kind of clean that up, get rid of that. I like this line, so I'll just sort of continue that down there. Yeah, there's that guy. This guy, I feel like I haven't drawn a hipster yet, so that's important. I really like drawing big, stupid, thick glasses. Maybe because I like wearing them. Mess around with things like facial hair, like try and add that every now and again just to mix it up. I 
and also just kind of look around like look around at people um, you know in coffee shops or grocery stores or whatever and just sort of like notice what their hairstyles are or what they're wearing or what kind of hats they have on or whatever this guy has a baseball hat because that is a thing that people do I feel like I've seen this guy somewhere yeah and so with those little pieces like a hat or a beard or glasses or that look on his face or the eyebrow or whatever it is um, it gives you drawing just a little bit more personality which is what you want so this is kind of a weird shape but it's a good um, eh, kind of a military shape looks to me anyway like you should have a crew cut And again, I'm not really following the lines exactly, but that's okay. They're just sort of guidelines. It doesn't have to be the same size either. So again, I really struggle with like making sure that I'm drawing smaller features. Now it's weird, right? Because he's got like all these up top. What happens if I do that? That looks really weird. So maybe it's not his mouth. Yeah, there you go. Chin. So then I just have this one here. And this one's kind of a light bulb shape, so... Yeah. Maybe a good, you know, scientist. there so there you can see just using a few simple shapes um, you can get just a wide variety of looks so that's it um, I'm just gonna keep these pretty short so I don't bore you to death um, hope that was helpful and if it was and you want to see more of my work you can always check me out over on Instagram I'm at jeff.coats um, you can go to my page on Facebook Sado chicken. It's a long story. We'll go for coffee. I'll tell you all about it. Uh, or you can go to sadochicken.com. Basically what happened was it was available. Because who is going to call their website Sado Chicken? Hope you like it. And um, I will have another one posted next week. Thanks.